What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 things that you need to know about your new Google Chromecast with Google TV. It's, it's things that you might maybe like how to delete an app, how to move an app, things like that. And uh, let's jump into it. So uh, we talked about uh, moving apps and things like that. So you can do this a couple places. You can go into under the For You tab at the top or you can go to Apps at the top. Um, but if you want to move any of your apps right here, what you're going to do is press and hold the select button on your remote and then hit move and you can move it left or right. And when you're done, you just hit select. And then if you want to move more apps, just press it once. And again, you can move it wherever you want and you can do that until you're done. When you're done, all you're going to do is hit your back button and if you hit select, it'll actually go into the app at that time. What about uh, if you want to delete an app, like uninstall an app? Very easy. What you're going to do is go to your apps right here. And for instance, I don't want the Sling app. I'm going to press and hold on it. I'm going to go to view details. And then what I'm going to do is click uninstall. I'm going to hit OK. And now it will uninstall that app from my uh, box hit my home button and when I look at my apps, I no longer see that app in here anymore. Beautiful, I love it, it's gone. What about if you have YouTube, but you have multiple accounts on YouTube and you wanna log into a different YouTube account? Well, first of all, you need to add the accounts. So, what you wanna do is go up to the very top, click on your picture in the top right, and click on settings. Then you want to go into accounts and sign in. And then at the bottom, just hit add another account and add all the accounts that you want to add. Once you're done adding all the accounts that you need on your uh, Google TV, again, this will also be for YouTube, YouTube TV as well. So any accounts that you have that are different from your main one uh, for YouTube or YouTube TV, sign into those. Once you're done signing in, hit your home button. And when you go back into the YouTube app, for instance, open it up. And if you want to switch accounts, you actually have to sign out. So you press over to the left, tap on the account at the top. There's no quick switch, unfortunately. So just hit sign out, sign out again, and then go back to the same spot where you just signed out and hit sign in. And then it's going to show all your accounts that you can sign in on YouTube. Once you sign into the account, it's going to automatically switch it um, over to, so that you can see that accounts uh, viewing preferences. YouTube TV, if you wanna to switch to a different account, open up YouTube TV and click sign in. And now it will give you the option to choose the account that you want to sign in with. What if you wanna change what the Netflix and the YouTube buttons do on your remote? All you do, we'll, 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 first we'll do with the YouTube button, press and hold the remote, that YouTube button on your remote. When you press and hold it, it gives you the option to select your favorite YouTube app. It still has to be a YouTube app, but you do get the option to choose between different YouTube apps. I have YouTube TV installed and YouTube as well. So you just choose the one that you want. And anytime you press that YouTube button on your remote, it'll automatically open that said app. Unfortunately, pressing and holding the Netflix button currently doesn't do anything in terms of you being able to change it. If you want to talk into your remote so that your assistant can hear you, you need to press and hold that assistant button in the top right. What's the weather in San Diego? Once you're done, just let go of the button and it'll automatically hear you and give you the information that you're looking for. Just want to control things uh, from your device, such as smart things that are already set up as lights or uh, anything really, so see a camera or something like that. You can do it all with the remote. Show me doorbell. And it's going to show my doorbell camera from that doorbell to my TV so that I can watch my camera, see what's going on. So it's very, very cool to see all that stuff here. Occasionally your remote will get updates. If you want to see if you have one without, maybe it's not showing in notifications or whatever, what you're going to do is go uh, all the way to the top right where your picture is, go to settings and then go down until you see remotes and accessories, tap on that and click on your remote button. And if you have an update, you'll see it'll be right in here. You can just click to update and it'll do the update for your remote. 
Centaurin remotes as well. Maybe you want to have the remote control your TV. Just hit uh, set up remote buttons, tap on it, and you can add a device right now. It controls the volume, the power, all for my Samsung TV so you can set up. If you want to reset your device, go back to the main screen of settings, go to system, go all the way to the bottom of system and you'll see restart. Just tap on it and it'll ask you to restart. Click restart and again, it'll restart your device. Go back to the main screen of system, go to about and if you want to change the name of your device, you'll see device name, click on it. You can click change and this is where you can easily change it to whatever you want. That way, if you want to cast to it or something like that, it'll be easier to find for you. Also in about, you'll see factory reset. Click that if you need to factory reset. Maybe you're selling it, getting rid of it, giving it to someone else, or maybe just having some issues with it and you just want to get it back to its factory settings. You can do that right there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. See you guys down the road. Peace.